that, like, how far along do you look into programming, like, down the road? Yeah, so I think when it comes to fitness, like, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. There's so many different philosophies. There's so many different um, ideologies out there. Do I tend to bias towards certain ones? Yes, but, I mean, to get some – strength is strength, power is power, speed is speed, like – there's a bunch of different ways that you can get someone to those outcomes. You got to find the, the system, the programming, the periodization that works for you that you can understand it and you can apply it. But then you also got to also take it a step further and figure out, okay, what works best for my client. So it's kind of twofold. And one of which is with my athletes, if I get like, say my soccer players, I train two soccer players every summer. They play soccer out West at UCLA. And from them, when I know they're coming back, like, I'm like, Hey, when is, when is school over with? Like, when are you guys coming back? How long do I have with you? If they say, Hey, we're going to be back for 12 weeks. Okay. When do you have to be, when do you leave to report for camp? If that's 12 weeks. Okay. I start there and then I work back my phases from, okay. Like I got to do a sport performance phase for at least three weeks. So that gives me nine weeks left. Okay. From nine weeks to zero, okay, let's say their coach tells me, okay, we got to get them a little bit bigger. We got to put some size on them because um, they were guys were getting physical with them. Okay, so I know then, all right, I got to make sure I put some size on them, which is going to be hypertrophy. In my case, I can't put them on a straight bodybuilder program because that's going to give a ton of mass and their, pro their body is probably not going to have enough time to coordinate – the movements that they need, whether it's in the weight room or on the soccer field with just right. a straight mass building program. So for me, I would tend to go more towards like functional hypertrophy. And then from there, okay, we want to transition that hypertrophy to strength and then power. So I might go three weeks of sport performance at the end, followed by, we'll say like a power phase of two to three weeks. We'll say that gives me six weeks left. And then I'll go, we'll say functional hypertrophy and then strength. So I'll go like four, four phases of three weeks. And then from there, okay, you just take your basic principles that you learn in, in school. Like, okay, what's hypertrophy? What rep ranges are for basic hypertrophy or functional hypertrophy? Well, I go anywhere between six to 10 reps. Okay. Start there. Um, and then you just slowly taper it down based on the period that you're in. Now, obviously I've been training them, for now to, I've had them for two off seasons now. So the periodization and the way I program them is going to be different than let's say a high schooler who's with me for, he just comes with me for 12 weeks during the summer. I'm going to do a much more linear periodization model with the high schooler. Whereas with the soccer players in college, I'm probably going to go like undulating and I'm going to use a bunch of different modalities, whether it's chains, bands, um, any of those tools. So it, there's not, it's not a one size fits all approach, but at the same time, there is going to be your meat and potatoes of every single program. You know, you got to get someone stronger. You know, you got to get someone bigger. If they say they need to get bigger, you need to get strength. You need to get power and you need to be able to transition those qualities to the sport that he or she is going to be playing. Yeah, 100%. I like that you brought up the reverse engineering because it was something that I didn't really pick up on until um, later on once I actually started training a lot more. And so what I would used to do is like this is back in school when I would make uh, programs and stuff for like pretty much all my friends. It was just kind of like back of the door sort of thing. But I would plan it out months in advance, like down to the sets and reps months in advance because I thought because all the programs I had done before – that was exactly what it was. It was like three months of like all this stuff and you weren't going to change it all no matter what. So I figured it was like, okay, so that's all I need to do. Yeah. Or I learned more. I learned was like how stupid that was because, you know, if I put in squats for Sally and then she can't do squats, why am I going to progress more to like a heavier back squat then? Like if anything, no, we should have brought it way down. So there's yeah. a lot of variations that we need to go into. So when I do, the programs that I do for in the gym and when I do them for on the side for uh, either my friends or just uh, regular online clients, it's a little bit different, but I still leave that whole list of like 
you know, sort of reverse engineering it back into it, but I also leave it, it's very fluid, very open. I allow myself to have like a lot of variations because I know it's like, okay, I could write out a theoretically perfect um, program four months in advance. I'm like, dude, if you stick to this, you're going to get all the way to hit your goals. That is a failure in itself because there is 100% chance that something along the way is going to need to be switched. I'm yeah. something in their form, something in their movement, or just how their energy levels are, how their sleep is, all, their stuff, all these other factors. It's like, hey, we need to kind of adjust things just by a little bit. Right. right. So, but it's, it's that idea of keeping it open and saying, like, I have that idea of what I'm going to do from that reverse engineering process. It's like, okay, I know, like, the phases that I need to go into. But, like, when it comes to the, the nitty-gritty sort of stuff, it's like, I'm going to keep that open right now because we need to see, like, what it is going. Like, what we do this week could drastically change how I program next week. Right. Same, exactly. yeah, same, the same goal of, like, let's say there's a hypertrophy, but it'd be totally, a totally different technique.